Good morning. Good morning, everyone. How we doing? Happy time zones. It might not be morning where you're at, but have a happy one anyway. How we doing? Yeah, all y'all with the coffee cups is making me want coffee this morning. Why do we got shake? Oh, great Scott. 17 months of subbing. Let's go. Let's go, great Scott. Appreciate you. Appreciate the subbing. Appreciate my alert going off there when I'm on. Yeah, coffee o'clock. I think it's probably gonna be coffee o'clock for me this afternoon. Let me ask y'all a question. So I did something yesterday I never do, yesterday afternoon. When I went to go get Toby, um, I was I was tired, you know, mid-afternoon, doldrums. I actually stopped by the gas station. I was like, I'm going to try a Red Bull. Like, I never drink, like, energy drinks or anything like that. Absolutely did not give me wings. Like, I think I just want to, like, I just wanted to take a nap. Like, there was no wings, no change in energy level. Um, in fact, I wanted to nap harder. <laughs> Am I just, uh, do I have too much caffeine in my body <laughs> for, for energy drinks? Like my caffeine levels are already peaked. <laughs> I thought that was a weird thing. I was like, I'm going to do this. Like I never, I never do this, right? Like that's literally not a thing for me. I was like, huh, let's try this instead of a coffee, even though it's like stupid expensive, right? From the gas station. And I was like, literally nothing like less than nothing change for like the next like three hours three four hours after that i'm no angel facts big facts so yeah i put a sticker on a pen right i had to uh i had to uh pay my penance and post it publicly if you haven't seen Pen Talk, your favorite cousin, her video pins are amazing. I have not seen those. I don't have the TikTok, but I know I can watch the uh, the link, so I'll have to check it out. My daughter sends me uh, some TikTok links here and then, here and there. I guess I have to watch them on the website. Hello, JD lady. The sugar undoes anything that the caffeine might help. So I get sugar-free Flynn Raccoon, so I don't like sugary drinks. So I got the sugar-free Red Bull. Nothing. How much coffee do you drink on a regular basis? I probably drink three cups a morning. I'd say that's a average so so would that be like a different kind of caffeine paul oster one of your favorite authors i'm sorry at some studio that stinks i hate that sticker on pen it's the introduction to the opposite sketches <laughs> Shoosh. one of the reasons i wean off caffeine that when i needed the boost it actually works true caffeine always makes me sleepy yeah there's classic cups at 120 or three American cups at 18. So these are probably in between. These are probably more like 10 or 12 ounce, 10 to 12, like not an eight ounce cup. Energy drinks, coffee, and tea are all different types of caffeine. So, okay. I try to limit my coffee to two cups per day, morning and lunch. That's actually probably like a really smart plan for me is to like have that in the morning, but not a bunch. And then like one, like after lunch kind of thing. What's up, Momo Crafting? Enjoy your lurk. How do you make your coffee? Just pot and drip pot. Sometimes I'll get fancy in the afternoons and do a pour over, but I'm not, I'm not overly concerned. That Red Bull probably wasn't more of a boost than what you normally get. That's kind of what I was guessing, Emiki Love. I limit my coffee to five, six cups. That's probably, <laughs> if I'm being truthful. Not every day, though. But I, I like coffee. But yeah, that's what I'm guessing. I was like, well, there's really nothing here that I don't already have, like, going for me. Um, so, it was a really, I was like, oh, this, I'm going to try this. Like, I didn't have, I had plenty of work to do yesterday afternoon. I was like, this will be, we'll do this instead of coffee. It's like. I'm going about six, seven mugs of fresh ground per day. Yeah, I don't think I could do that. Um, decaf coffee is nice when you want it in the evening. Yeah, I'm pro decaf. Proud of you designing a Brave Retro 51 honoring an artist. Yeah, I am, I've felt pretty good about that. Um, off topic, Brad, are the cicadas loud in Georgia? Did you see my Instagram? Y'all want to open the window right now and see if we can see if we can hear them? Has anyone acknowledged the hair yet? No. I got. Do I have cicadas on my shirt? I got a bug shirt, chat. Do I want to see if we can hear the cicadas? Let's see if we can hear them. Hang on. 
it's, it's might get a little bright. Can y'all hear it? It's loud. This has been like a week and a half. Yeah, sorry about the light. No, Toby's growling at construction going across the across the way. So yeah, that's been about a week and a half. All right, hang on. All right, sorry about the light chat. So they don't bother, the sound doesn't bother Toby, but if he sees them flapping around, he, the one thing he like will chase is like bumblebees. So anything that buzzes around gets him just totally dialed up. <sighs> yeah, it sounds like they're doing donuts. It's crazy. It's so loud. Yeah, it's like an idling spaceship is what it sounds like. It sounds alien. <sighs> Natural light is against Twitch TOS. That's a fact. <laughs> Yeah, so um, go get a drone for Toby. Oh my gosh. If I could get a... Do they make a drone that drops a ball? That would be sick. Back when Brudex was a thing, there were restaurants selling them as land shrimp. What would they do? Fry them? Watch out the cicada rain. I Luckily, there's not a lot of bodies around right now, but is that going to happen later? Like, there's a bunch of them stuck to the side of my house. Veronica, six months of subbing, let's go. Cicadas look like cigar butts with eyes. There was a lot of, uh, there seemed to be a lot of uh, friendship between some of the cicadas that I saw on the ground yesterday. Um, yeah. I don't know if drones that drop things, oof. That's, <laughs> now the more that I think about it, that's probably a bad idea, isn't it, Avo? <laughs> Didn't really think that one through, Avo. My bad. Uh, yeah, there were some very friendly cicadas. Cicada action happening in the driveway yesterday. So yeah, uh, they're loud. Speaking of friendship, happy 1st of May for those of us who know. I feel left out. I don't know. <sighs> Tuli. Good morning. I, again with the coffee cup. Y'all are going to make me... Uh, Y'all are going to make me... Um, Get some coffee. Did you see John Boy break down the UGA pitcher? I didn't. I need to go check that out. That's bad. Like my kids sent me that uh, sent me that article. My birthday is in five days. Nice. Nice. My son sent me the uh, the the Jeff McNeil Reese Hoskins stuff, which is always great. So I do like those breakdowns. I'll have to check out the UGA. I've only read about the UGA pitcher. So there's a, a, a pitcher uh, in college that that cheated and was putting um, um, sticky stuff on his glove. And it was bad. Did you talk about the new tactile turn on the pod? I didn't. Is that the green one? Did it actually launch? Capitalism Brad would have already ordered mugs to sell. I actually put out a request and I didn't get shot down. But like what I wanted to do was not possible right now. So I'll have to rethink that because I would like to do that. I would I would like to do some type of mug, but I'm thinking more of like uh, uh, the tumbler style, like the steel stainless steel um, style, as opposed to like ceramic. Did you see the Nautilus Retro Fifty One? Okay, so no, we need to do. Okay, so we need to see the tactile turn. So y'all send that to me. I got that, and y'all send me the uh, Nautilus. Um. Is is uh, Boo you in here today? I'm on, I'm gonna have a uh, something that Boo you is uh, gonna get. That's all I can think about. So hang on one second. Verifying that I'm human. Okay. Anyway. Uh, why am I clicking on this? No spin. Oh, yeah. Don't click on that. 
Uh, cooking cicadas. I bet. So where's the Nautilus? Who is eating cicadas? I guess the same people that eat grasshoppers and crickets and ants and whatever else it is they do. All right, so y'all send me the Jules Verne. Ferret Fawcett? No, I'm looking for Boo You. Okay, there we go. Pin place. Oh, no, I haven't seen that. Okay, cool. Hey, Brooks, how are you? All right, so, um, yeah, I was looking for Boo You because... Okay, let's do this. Yeah, I've had the crickets... I've had some of it, like, all right, so this is the Sprout, this is the new Tactile Turn release, um, I really, I really like it, I really like it, so, um, you thought I heard your name, Ferret Fawcett, there, I made it come true, blog wall to 22 months of subbing, let's go, let us go, um, yeah, really dig it. Fun fact, there's a spot on cicadas' backs that you can press to make their wings flap even if they are dead. You know, this is why you're here, chat. I feel like like any stationary content is irrelevant, but if you can learn cicada, true cicada facts, like that's what it should have been the show title today, true cicada facts. Busy packing for Chicago. Ooh, man, Wednesday. Trying to consolidate everything into one check bag. Good luck. <laughs> The only bug I'd ever eat are gummy worms. <laughs> Brad's Z Frank tribute stream. Feel like an outdoor stream is in order. Need to prove some of these things. I already opened the windows for the cicada sound. Do I need to open it back up? Practicing for DC NY. Did you see the latest release from uh, Stationary Fest? Like the numbers? I feel like I'm to blame for the cicada decor. Do y'all have them bad there, Bart? All right, so yeah, sick. Then you can get the bolt. They did um, cicada theme inks would be like. Hmm. Probably like that antique black. Uh, antique black I put on the. Um, on stream yesterday. <laughs> Look at the clip on Sprout. Yeah, I do like the clip. Do they have a close-up if I go down? Oh, here we go. That's a better picture. Yeah, so I like the clip. I like the design. I like the bot. I love everything about this pen. So I was asking, uh, is the in my event growing like crazy? Yes. Like 1,600 pre-sold. Um, so I don't know if any, any of you played Destiny. It was why I was asking uh, Boo you. Um, they have a shader, a classic Destiny, Destiny shader. I haven't played Destiny in probably like a year. Uh, yeah, it's you should go look at that email from John. It made my uh, eyes pop out of my head. Um, there's a shader called Watermelon, which is a classic, uh, classic shader. This is all I see when I see this pen. Um, is the Destiny Watermelon shader, and like I should probably get that, just because. So this is an OG Destiny shader. Oh, you get it doesn't really look good on person, but it's famous. So the shaders in Destiny are how you colorize your gear, and there's different ones. But um, like that's all I see when I see this pen is a uh, Destiny watermelon shader. <clears throat> I actually have a little watermelon shader uh, pen. Thanks for the shout out in TPA Chronicles. I love that pen. You're welcome, buddy. I love that pen. Love, love, love. So yeah, these came out really good. What's up, Dens? We're just mingling today, chilling. Picked Destiny back up last week. It's fun. There's a new power source. I heard. So if y'all wonder where Tony is, I still talk to Tony every now and then about Destiny. So yeah, great job. 
Oh, don't look at this page, chat. Yeesh. All right, do y'all want to play pick one? Do y'all want to play pick one from here? Go. I know what mine is, and I own it. 8-bit, GT, Deep Space, GT, Fairway, Stealth. 8-bit's crazy, right? Like, 8-bit should not be as good as it is, but holy crap, is it good. Dot Mackie, what are you talking about? Did I say something? GT or Icefall? GT. Mine's GT. Fairway. Yeah, Fairway was a tough non-purchase for me. 8-bit, yeah. Nautilus. Nautilus is... I mean, they're all... Like, look, they're all good. Uh, GT is mine. Oh, Tony, Tony. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, yeah, no issues. Just, yeah, people's, people's life, life changes, you know? How much are these pins? These are very expensive. Like... Uh, 150 to 200. Deep Space is, if I could add one now, they are refillable. Yeah, so they take um, Parker compatible cartridges uh, or Pilot G2 cartridges, and then some take um, some mini cartridges. You can get some short ones. Um, 8 bit is probably better than Fairway, but Fairway meant more to me. I feel that. The, fair, the clip on Fairway is so good. I think the fairway clip is my favorite clip. Even though I have the four on my GT, uh, I think the fairway clip. If I was to add one that I don't have, I think it would probably be deep space. Um, it's just stunning how eight how good 8-bit is. But I think the clip on fairway is the bomb. Let's see if we can see it here. That's the best clip. <laughs> Whoa. Come back. Stop moving. That's the best clip. Oh, this, like, I can't make it stop moving. It's doing it on its own. You always end up breaking clips. Yeah, I don't think they've ever done a clipless model. So, yeah. There you go, chat. So, yeah, I'm... GT's my favorite. And I got, uh, since you could choose the clip, I got a, uh, I got a number four clip. What size is your favorite? That's the harder question. Um, I think it's the, <laughs> you're going to have, uh, I think it's the short. Is that the G2s? The Parker, uh, the Parker Refill International G2 is short. What model bolt versus side click do people like best? Yeah, y'all answer that. Short is where it's at? I think so, Tiny Badge, right? The sta standard's too big. Why can I spend hundreds on a fountain pen, but it's hard no on these? Yeah, it's just weird how that works. Like, it's, it's just taste. I think if we did a poll on the mechanism, I think side click would win in a landslide. <laughs> Even though I like the bolt, they have a good bolt and they have a good shape. I think side click is three to one, easy. If not four to one. Standard slim, yeah. So they do the slim ones now too, right? So standard slim, they did them all on this one. Standard slim. What'd you say? Side click. Where'd you go, Addy? So I would do short. I like the, do I have a slim? Is my trailhead slim? These are the tactile turn colorways. This is the new one, Sprout. It's really good. What My trailhead might be a slim mini. I like the side kick, but I'm not rushing out to buy a side click. Meanwhile, I have three different bolt action pins. Yeah. I would rather, honestly, just like a top knock. But if I'm choosing between the side click and the bolt. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> side click, what you call the pin your grail pin doesn't know about. That's hilarious. 
the wider bolt has the best clip that functions as a clip. Let's see, oh, I can do that here. So bolt, so the bolts have a turned up clip and the side clicks have just more of a straight clip. <laughs> so there is a different clip design there. Bolt actions seem cheap to me since all the kit pins you can do with bolts. So yeah, so what I what you learn is the um, the shallower the bolt, the more you realize it's probably like a custom mechanism. So the kit pins, um, see how oops, see how shallow the depth of the bolt is here. That's a really good shape. So the further out the longer the bolt is, that's usually the um, the kit style or the stock style. The same day I'm ordering from you, Brad, I'm also ordering a custom Sinclair to use for a passport case. Nice. For that price, I'd always choose a fountain pen. Yeah, 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 for sure. Like I, I think a, a couple of people mentioned that. Yeah, no doubt. That's why I don't like have like all of these, even though they would send me some of these like for free if I asked. And, like I just don't, I, I don't need all of them. The bolt on the Karis modal is really nice. Yeah, I think they make their own bolts. And Mark One makes their own knocks. So yeah, good stuff. All right, so let's look at the Nautilus, which I have not seen. So, oh, this is a big shot, really. Okay, that's pretty sick. Like, this is not for me, but that's pretty sick. It's a big shot. Is this brass or copper? Acid etched copper. I'm shocked it's on, like I'm shocked it's only 75 bucks, to be perfectly honest. If I didn't buy my big shot dinosaur, that would be this would be one. And I don't even necessarily like heavy pins, but. Man. Ooh. That's cool. Speaking of knots, I wish Retro made a non-twist pin. Interesting, yeah. That's really nice. I'm glad you showed that to me. That's spectacular. Still waiting for Lego to do a Nautilus ship. That would be sick. Could you imagine? That's really nice. Super sharp. <clears throat> oh yeah, I can put them. Could put it on one of my octopus stands. That would be fun. There was a click retro. I don't remember one. I had the little. Um, I had a little stylus mini retro. Was there a click one? I don't think I've ever owned a click retro. Although I say that, and I could probably go find one. It was Radley. It was probably the stock Schmidt one because I mean they're. They you know, they use Schmidt for their refills, so it would be easy to say, hey, send me some of these. Pretty sure I reviewed it. Probably. It's a mini pin. Hmm. Look for the squid pin display from Retro 51. Do, do they have one? Oh, is this it? Sheesh. You kidding me? No, oh, come on. Ha. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, settle down, Beavis. Hey, chill. That's crazy. The Hexomatic is a dope pin. I gift my ex this pin, but the custom Zippos have been stolen. I got custom Zippos. Whenever Sergeant Story gets here, I'll show him. No, 
I just like saying, settle down, Beavis. <laughs> we might have a delivery. Ooh. Let's see if we have a delivery. No delivery. Oh, it was a delivery. Be right back, chat. Hold. Hold, please. Unboxing time, chat. Y'all getting all the secrets today. <sighs> I'm glad Toby heard him because I didn't hear him. Good, good job, buddy. All right. See what we got here. I mean, I know what we got here, but Boom. <laughs> I gotta tease y'all first. Boom. Pencil tips. Just notice the cool shirt, it has bugs on it, I like it. No, <laughs> it's spoke pencil tips. That means there's other stuff in here, chat. Oh, boom, more. chat Let's see what we got it was a dudeck review snapper I remember the snapper I need to look at that purple axles those pre-sold before Brian shipped them, so he just shipped them directly. <laughs> you like how quick I am on that? Quick. I'm gonna scooch this out the way. I actually wanna look at this popper, this snapper real quick. I don't remember this at all. Did his mechanism break? Literally snapped. I don't remember this at all. I don't think that's a Schmidt mechanism either. Rip. Hey, you got it, Tess. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. That's bad. Rip. All right. So there's why it doesn't exist anymore. All right, let's see what I got. There's something super dope in here. We have uh, uh, some kind of like normal pencil restockings that Brian's been working on. Some with our uh, Model 4 with traditional traditional grips. Uh, oh, like I'm showing me, not you. Um, we need to start a petition to get Studio Neat to license out there quicker. That's funny. Um, so yeah, this is like the classic design that I use in my cyan. So this is just our classic straight grip. 
You can tell we've changed the logo over the years to our new modern look. You can tell, that's how you can tell mine's old. The more you know, chat. So we got uh, 8.3 diameter, uh, nine, nine millimeter, seven millimeter, five millimeter. Pretty cool. And then shiny and matte. So, so this is where I get in trouble. Those are different. Lead sizes, yeah, 0.5, 0.7, and 0.9. So matte, shiny. What kind is that? Spoke Design. This is the company I'm in, I'm part of. And these are mechanical pencils. So I got to be careful when I ship. So chat, this is a precursor. We're probably having a shipping stream tomorrow. Yeah, so um, then we have gunmetal. We need to do this. We need to restack. Restack. Gunmetal, same grips, same. Why is there three? So 0.5. Man, he did these in different order, Brian. 0.5, shiny. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, oh, 0.9. No sevens on this one, but they're kind of all over the place. Yeah, we're almost certainly, get the music lined up. I haven't worked on a new playlist, so it's the same kind of playlist I've had. So 0.9s, 0.5s, why is this one right here? That's bugging me should go right here but as soon as I move something around oh here it is grip size there it is okay Brian's gonna get me in trouble here's the difference boom so we're doing we have some more diameters so we have a 9.2 diameter grip and an 8.3 grip so I use the 8.3s and then the 9.2 is a little bit wider see Brian knows he knows what's up do you have any purple nine millimeters? Uh, if there's not any in here, I'll have to check out back. I, if they're not available on the site, they, I don't know. We've had them in the past. Um, so yeah, there's a, a diameter difference in the grip. So there you go. Wow, I'm gonna ship these wrong, chat. How many, we'll need to do uh, an over under on how many, I mis how many mistakes I make in shipping these. I'm already, we're going to have to call, we're going to have to call out, oh, Tam server, just wait till we do our retractable pins. 12% is probably about right. That's a, that's a high number. So that's probably pretty right. When we do our retractable pins, round two of retractable pins, it, we're planning for a build your own, um, on there. Hey, Mornar, you won't make a mistake. I love your, uh, I love your positivity. Slumberland. All right. So this is, we don't usually have a lot of inverted grip, seven millimeter pins. So this is one. So lime green, inverted grip, which is probably my favorite grip, and then seven millimeters. So we have a lot of the um, inverted, yeah, there's an eraser on all these. So inverted seven millimeter lime green that's cool i i don't usually see these <clears throat> maybe brad will play the titanic theme <laughs> i'd take requests but i'm i'd be scared of what y'all would request 9.2.7 millimeter lime green all right cool oh my gosh there's more lime green bonanza chat Lime green of Palooza. All right, so now here's the 05s, but no inverted, just standard grips. 9.2. See, I'm also doing this to help train myself. So 9.2 matte titanium 
lime green 0.5 millimeter and then shiny 9.2s and then 8.3s over here on the side there we go all right chat Piece de resistance. Are you I are you uh are you holding holding uh holding on to your butts, chat? Uh, I think these go up at noon today, so like any minute now. Um are you holding on to your butts? Are you seated? Are you seated? Are your butts properly secured? So this is a new one. So this is the Model 5 in Lava. All right, there were no shiny inverted grips in this stash. This is going to be a problem because I'm not going to be able to get one of these because we'll sell them all out. So point and uh, the point the the Model 5 is not my favorite. <laughs> I mean, it's awesome, but like, if you want to choose between four and five, this would make me a Model 5 fan. So it's got, um, it's got, it's got flat spots on the grip here. It's Elizabeth, Elizabeth's home. Can you get some different colored inserts for the pen at pencil at some point? I don't know. I mean, like technically, probably. What? It smells weird. You're here. No, it smells like pink. No. Sorry. Um, so yeah, I don't know if we'll do different colors on the inside or not, but uh, this one looks really hot. This is a really good one. So this is uh, a new color for pencils. Was that the red tray I saw on the bottom tray? I'll check. I'll check. Cryptid baby, you are in the right place. Thank you for being here. I did not know there was a stationary side of Switch and Twitch, and now that I'm here, I'm never leading. Thank you so much. Um, this is what we do. We talk about pens and pencils. Need that with a blue insert to match your roadie. Gotcha. So I don't think there's any difference in these. But we have uh, a lot. These are awesome. Maybe I'll find a damaged one, chat. Maybe I'll find a damaged one. And that's... That's the only way I get some of these cool cool pens and pencils. If so there's a damaged one, it's mine. But then if we sell them out, we're screwed. So, yeah, there we go. You can never leave. Yeah, it's the hotel. Uh, hotel Penifornia. Naper Villain with the gifted sub to Cryptid Baby. Thank you so much, Naper Villain. Cryptid, enjoy your, enjoy your, uh, enjoy your stay. I'm glad you found us. How did you find us just randomly? Randomly recommended? What if one fell off the desk? What if one got accidentally damaged? All right, Elizabeth and Toby want to say hey. Hang on, hang on. Here we go. All right. There's my faves. We match. We kind of all match today. A little bit, huh? Oh, a pimple patch on. Oh, you match. Well, your pimple matches this color maybe a little bit. Yeah, it was going to erupt. Mm-hmm. So Toby, show Toby's ears. He has earmuffs after spa day yesterday. They didn't really cut his ears very short, short so he's got his earmuffs on. <laughs> All right. Uh, Elizabeth, um, you can pick out a giveaway item in there if you want, because I haven't done a giveaway. Do y'all want Elizabeth to pick out a giveaway? This could go, this, I mean, this could go very good or very bad, because she doesn't know, like, all the things in there. All right, Elizabeth's going to pick out a giveaway. Uh, you can pick out like two things and then we'll see what you get and maybe pick a third. So if you're new here, this is the ice box of happiness. I give stuff away every stream. Alright, Elizabeth's gonna run stream while I go check the door. Alright, then we're gonna end stream. Because it's bug, it's bug day.
One second, chat. Alright, let's be quick. I don't know. Right. Nothing in here. Alright, we gotta do a giveaway. The uh, the bug guy's here, so. Hey, if you want something easy, you can go on this side. There's some pen cases down there. I got one thing. Okay. So it's our uh, quarterly quarterly pest service. Toby bit, Toby's bit this bit this guy before, so we need to go handle yeah. this. Will lava make it to the Rody XL? Maybe. All right, what do you got? Oh dang. Okay, she did good, chat. Toby, stop. All right, bug guy does have trauma. Luckily, he had pants on. So we have a bottle of ink. Oh, what is this one? This is the third house. Third, third house, Death Valley. I picked this up at the Orlando Pin Show. I haven't tested this one. Burnt orange. Hey, stop. So, yeah, see if you can get him to chill for a minute while we do this. And then we have a brass town. She did really good. Fancy stuff. So, let's do a giveaway. Yes, well done, Elizabeth. Ah, uh, giveaway. So, we'll do the pin case and the ink. Uh, <laughs> all right, this giveaway's open. Yes, yeah, she did deliver. You only learned about the Brass Town yesterday? Maybe we'll bring it back one day. Maybe one day we can get it... Uh, Collaborated, collaborated on. Toby's breathing so hard. Oh, he's very anxious. So, all you gotta do is type exclamation point raffle. Anyone can enter, anyone can win. You don't have to be a follower, member, subscriber. You must be present to win. You don't have to live in the US. I ship worldwide. And. There's an orange one to go with the ink. Hmm. There's not many orange ones left. Um, and you have to email me your shipping address if you win. You want to win that perfume? It would it would uh, it would work well for you, I think. I do believe. Including Antarctica, thank you. We do ship to Antarctica. Dang, you do it for two minutes. I do it for three minutes, <laughs> so yeah, we're in trouble here, <laughs> but we'll be good. Is he coming inside? He's inside right now. I was about to make food. He'll be done in ten minutes, but he's got to get in here. Abigail Markov has a bunch of new BB pens up on her site. There may even be two or left from her, three or left from her big drop. Zane's dad, if you're convenient to grabbing her her link, you can um, post it in the chat. One of those Mandalorians need to come home. I know these are from Blog Walda. So this is our next batch of stickers that we're going through. Uh, the, bot, the bot is getting a lot of uh, sweet talking today. I don't know, maybe y'all need to be sweet-talking Toby or Elizabeth or maybe the bug guy. Maybe it's not the bot that y'all need to be sweet-talking to win. Toby. Oh, there you go. Tuli says, thank you, Elizabeth and Toby. See? Thank you, Zane's dad. Ow. So, Abigail is where uh, this ink is from, abigailmarkoff.com. So, and Third House Inks. How rough is the knurled grip, Brad, on our pencils? Uh, it de it depends. There's a couple different grittiness. Uh, it's never more than like medium. Some of them are smoother, and then some of them are medium-ish. Um, but they're never too aggressive. Like most of the Model 6s are smoother. The Model 4s are like the medium. They're like a little gritty. The anodizing in some of the diamond patterns uh, is variable on those. 
That's all. Miss Cookie says, Elizabeth, I just wanted to wish you a happy graduation. She only, says, Only 23 more days. 23 more days. Until I graduate, only like a week and a half after school. Nice. Uh, so what is a bug guy? It's a pest control. So they come in the house and spray. Like we have ants a lot here, right? Um, you know, they're there. So you don't see bugs in your house, roaches, spiders, ants. Like the only real pest problem we have ants sometimes come inside. And then we have like, a. um, sometimes we get like a carpenter bee problem outside or wasp problem. There was two rats in the gym this morning. Two rats in the gym this morning. Uh, not here at Elizabeth school. Yeah, so like once every quarter they come and do the house and uh, they do not spray under my arms, no. Are you saying that's where bugs are? Because I'm wearing my shirt? Could be. Which pencil do you suggest for a construction carpenter? Wow. Mechanical? Or I'd probably get like a clutch pencil, honestly. I'd get like a clutch pencil. All right, let me pick a winner, and then we're going to have to bail. The Toyota Lawyer. The Toyota Lawyer, you win. You're here. All right, Toyota Lawyer. Email me, hello at penite.com. With your shipping address. We'll probably ship this tomorrow. Hey, look for a shipping stream tomorrow, chat. Probably, uh, oof, that was close. Uh, probably about um, same time tomorrow, 10 a.m., and we'll go. I'm going to have, I might even start early tomorrow, chat. Um, if I start early tomorrow, it'll, it'll only be because I need to for time reasons, and I won't be ending early necessarily. But, like, if I get going... Tomorrow early, I'm probably going to start shipping because it's going to be a lot of orders today. All right. So thank you all. Thanks for hanging out. Congrats, Toyota Lawyer. Hey, thanks to our new viewers here. Thanks for all your subs and follows. I really appreciate y'all. All right. Y'all have a good day. I got to run. Bye. <coughs>